All right, story time. So I heard this story once about this CEO. We went to Harvard or Stanford or something and he got his MBA, opened up a business, but the story starts where he's at the doctor's office because he was feeling really stressed. He had a lot of uh, mental anguish, we'll say. And he went to go see the doctor to see if he could get some sort of pills. And the doctor said, well, really what you just need is a vacation. You just need to get away and be away from the business for a little while and just give yourself a week's vacation. So, of course, that's what he did. He, you know, within the next week or so, he booked a flight. He went down to Mexico to a small village, did exactly what the doctor told him, said, go here and relax and, you know, get a well-needed break. Well, as he gets there, um, you know, within a day or so, he starts, the phone's going crazy. The emails are going nuts. This American CEO is... Uh, basically back at work, but just in another village and, you know, somewhere out of, out of his country. And he can't take it. He kind of just has like this blow up and he says, I got to get out. So he walks out. It's the first thing in the morning, walks out and to the pier. And there was just a single fishing boat out there and uh, had a gentleman in it. And he had three fish. I think they were, the story goes, they were yellowtail or something it was, it was a nice fish good looking fish and the ceo says to the fisherman great fish it looks beautiful how long did it take you to catch them he says oh just a few minutes you know not very long and the ceo goes well why didn't you stay out there longer then it's still early in the morning and you know the mexican fisherman says well it's all I need. <laughs> it's all I need is these, and it gives me plenty to eat, plenty for my family, and you know I'll give some to others. You know I'll give some to friends or you know neighbors, and that's all I need for the day. Well, it's still early in the morning. What are you going to do with the rest of your day? And he says, Well, you know I'll go home and spend time with my kids, and maybe have a siesta with my wife, and. You know, tonight I'll go out and maybe play guitar with my friends and enjoy my life. And he says, well, with all that extra time, you know, you could fish more, expand your business, get a bigger boat. Maybe you could cut out the middleman. You know, he's like, I have an MBA. I can help you with all this. All you really need to do is work just a little bit more and you'll, you know, you'll have more fish. You'll have a bigger boat. You'll expand your business. It'll be amazing. It'll be wonderful. And... Pretty soon, you know, you'll be the supplier of fish. You'll have to move to another town, you know, because you'll have a bigger boat and you'll need a bigger pier. Maybe eventually you'll, uh, you know, maybe move to the to the United States to where you have fish markets, you know, maybe like in Seattle or San Francisco. It's like, you'll be a millionaire. And the, you know, the Mexican fisherman says, well, that's great. That sounds great to have millions. Oh yeah. How long will that take? And the American businessman says, well, 20 years, maybe 15, 20 years, and you'll have all of that. He's like, you know, we just got to put, put a plan together and you'll have it. Well, then what? I have my millions. He says, well, then you'll be able to, to sell your business. You'll have an IPO and you can sell it and you can make, you know, all this other money and you'll be able to retire. You'll be able to not work anymore. And you, maybe you can move back to Mexico to a small fishing village, only work, you know, very little, fish for fun, spend your days taking siestas, playing with your kids, going out at night, having, you know, a guitar with your friends and drink a bottle of wine, and then you'll be happy. Hmm. Right where we began, isn't it? So that's where the flaw in this premise is, is that we have to work harder to get to where we want to be. That we have to spend our time investing in some sort of business or to making millions rather than being satisfied with where we currently are. This story is told in many different ways where the alchemist, where Paulo Coelho said, you know, basically, I'm not giving away the book here, but the treasure is where you started. The treasure is where you began. It's by going within. It's not about going outside and saying, how much can I achieve? What can I make? It's about saying, I have all that I need here. Just as the fisherman said, he has enough fish. When he had three, 
It's plenty and it's plenty to give. When do we say I have enough? When do we say, I don't need any more. This is all I need. Think about that, friends. What do you really need to be happy? What do you really need to find success?